Yo, what is good? My anime faithful. What is good, yo? Ah, feels good to talk about stuff you enjoy. But I am gonna be honest. If I do come off sounding kind of annoyed or anything like that, I apologize. Cause I may just be annoyed. But that's life, and we move on from it. Feel me? So. That being said, I truly, truly was watching these episodes beforehand, so I got lucky. Um, but this week's episodes kind of give me the feeling that there's so much more that's about to be dropping uh, within like each of these shows. A lot of a lot of expositions have been kind of uh, brought up in these shows, and I do appreciate them. And for some reason, I'm drawing a blank on which show I want to talk about. Uh, in society... Oh, Assassin's Pride. Duh. That's what I was... I was like, why? I'm thinking of the show, but I can't think of the name. Assassin's Pride was weird to me. Like, the way that they kind of, you know, push this narrative of the girls fighting each other, and then the way it was handled as a whole was really weird to me like it didn't feel that coherent i guess you could say um it just didn't feel i don't know i feel like something was missing in my opinion and that was the most annoying part of it uh so now that we kind of have even more understanding of what they were kind of you know putting together in the case of who hired who to to do this you know uh attack and whatnot we get that information relatively quickly because of, uh, you know, by by this girl being here, she could only be working for one person, pretty much. So that narrowed that down. Um, then not only that, we get the instant of finding out anybody who kind of gets in the way of these higher-ups could just be taken out at any time, you know, like what's stopping them from uh you know straight up attacking and destroying uh anybody who you know kind of questions them at this point n a k n k m okay n k m um but yeah i don't know it it feels it feels relatively well done and because there's certain like classes that we even don't supposedly know about like there's we heard about the samurai we heard about the jester and all these people but then we just met a new class that's called like diablo or something like that you know so it feels like there's just a a ridiculous amount of things you could become so to think that she became the samurai uh for whatever reason definitely is another like point of uh, uh, interest for me like not only did she become that she became it in such a weird way in my opinion wow I could have just ah, I'm an idiot um, <laughs> they could have just you know settled it with you know that that being all of it like oh she's a samurai and not a paladin okay so whatever but no it like literally is leading into her having all of these different uh you know, situations that are popping off that she pretty much can't avoid at this point, you know, like, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a very interesting way that they're putting her out, like, she literally has to not only fight someone who she wants to be a big sister to, to prove that she's strong and that she's the one that literally is, you know, should be the one respected in the uh, case of her fighting and whatever you want to say, but, then you get to the part of them putting this notion in your head that whatever whatever happens between these girls they should they should be relatively friends and stuff but then they put the old lady who supposedly went into this place that is a glass palace and by going in here you automatically already need to have uh clearance you're so already supposed to like pop up your ability that uh, we see this week with the assassin girl doing or our samurai girl doing it and then them being to uh get, getting let in right so why all of a sudden would it not do that for an old lady 
who you know supposedly went in and switched the stain the glass to make it this fight in general so that's why i say there was a lot of like exposition introduced but then not only was it introduced it was never actually kind of handled in the case of like oh this is why this is happening and because of that um you know this is gonna happen you know so that's that's the type of stuff that i like to pay attention to i don't know if that's weird like it just catches my attention and when i when that type of stuff catches my attention i usually cling on to it pretty hard uh and watch it play out so like our main character got the conclusion is someone had to have helped that lady get in and pop their power so that means someone on the inside which i think it was the girl he finds and is a diablos class or something like that a class that can drain uh drain mana and stuff like that so i think that girl that we met the reason why she was even you know uh, a suspect was because of that's what he you know pretty much put two and two together it's like oh it's probably this person right here and not only was he right, she literally held her own against this man. So I guess I can't say she held her own. She literally defended herself against one attack and he stopped. So she was capable of knowing she was in danger and protecting herself from him. So that's one thing. He didn't even like specify if he was really trying or anything, which is usually how these shows go. I wasn't even trying. I was holding back. <laughs> Um, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that was the case and he may have really tried to take her out and because of the draining, he would have lost a lot of, uh, mana and if he was needed later on, he wouldn't have been able to do nothing, you know, so smart move on him to not take the bait completely and absolutely ruin something for himself. Um, but yeah, overall, I definitely, definitely do like this show as a whole, but it feels like there is some stuff that is relatively uh cliche relatively not uh the most you know it's they're i don't know how to put it they're not they're not out of the norm with their moves and the steps that they're taking towards the end game of the show i can say and because of that it's not bad and at the same time it's not that good because i think people who have seen certain shows that they already compare this show to they just don't have a good time trying to lose that comparison in their head and i get i get the same kind of thing with people with the video games they're like oh well if the game plays like a game that i already know i'll just play that game for instance dauntless to monster hunter and apex to call of duty they have relatively quite the same feelings and stuff like that but at the same time they're generally different games even though they, you know, borrow from the same concept, I can't, I'm not going to say, like, Bloodborne and Dark Souls and stuff, because, uh, I mean, Dark Souls, and then any game that isn't from Soft and the makers of Dark Souls that have made Dark Souls-like games, you know, people are like, I don't want to play those games, because I'll just play Dark Souls, and that's 100% fine, and I think that's what's happening here, is, oh, well, because this, these, you know, overall case of how things are going, I don't need to be a paladin now. I could be a samurai as long as I'm just stronger than a paladin. That, that's fine. But the the higher ups, the people who really want certain things to be a certain way, are going to get in the way of that. And that's what I'm most interested in now is who the heck is going to just keep making these moves on everybody? Not to mention uh, the girl who actually. Okay, this was my other problem with this week's episode. The girl who straight up was a, uh, you know, getting away and doing all the stuff that she was doing, she then, like, gets defeated with that, like, off screen. Like, she literally destroys the sentries, and then they just, it felt like they didn't have any time to animate them running and fighting into the woods that they met each other the first time. So they just took us to the spot in the woods where they already had animated them. And then just put them in a different situation altogether. And they're like, okay, now we're in the same spot. And we don't know how the heck we got here or why we're here. But it's happening, so accept it. That was weird to me. And I know for a fact I did not look away. That literally is just how the story played out. Oh, we're f I'm going to fight you after you destroy these, uh, these things that I couldn't get by. And now that you destroyed them, I can get by. And then the next scene is her defeated i'm like what wait what uh okay
okay, cool, I guess, you know, like, shoot, I, I guess that's how this works, so, I really do like, I want to like this show a lot, but like I said, there's cliches, there's a lot of different small uh, arguments that people can make on this show that makes it not seem so great if you hear from, like, the way that they state it sometimes, but in my opinion, I think you gotta watch anything that has been stated negatively and accept it as, you know, like, watch it, like, accept their information as, you know, like, cool, like, okay, that that's good to know, but to then never, ever watch it or deal with it because of that seems kind of harsh, um, and I, I am like that, and I, I think the only reason why I can say that now is because I have given things a chance that I wouldn't normally uh, like sports animes and stuff like that. I wound up loving a sports anime and I was the first person to be like, oh yeah, they're trash because they're sports animes, you know? So for me, someone who was like that to have a completely different perspective, I think I am someone you can take that note from and be like, oh, okay, well, just because this show has some sword art stuff in it, just because this show has some concepts of characters that I know and grew up watching and they just aren't the same as they are here in Assassin's Pride just you find that out by yourself and see if it really is that because you'll be surprised with how much detail is going in the show and at the same time now with this episode how much detail didn't go into the show this week so um that's that's the type of stuff uh, that's the type of honest stuff I'm gonna tell you I'm not gonna beat around the bush if I didn't uh, really enjoy it because I don't that's just dishonest like why, who am I trying to please by saying everything I like is great, you know? So, if there's something I dislike, I will tell you, and I hope you guys like the channel more for that reason. So, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Don't even look at what my guy just did. I'm doing it for legendary weapons, okay? Leave me alone. But, yeah, with all that being said, take care, and I'm going to show you those legendary weapons I got so you won't judge me and my character, okay? Okay. <laughs> Peace. I wasn't lying.